What happens when an actor dates two co-stars from the same movie? An ever-blossoming friendship. Well, sort of. Matthew McConaughey dated two co-stars from the 1996 legal drama A Time to Kill and became best friends with one of them. In the late 90s, a young McConaughey was rumored to be dating Sandra Bullock. The two rising stars met on the set of the aforementioned film. At the time, Matthew had been linked to Ashley Judd. It just so happened that Judd was also featured in their thriller film. Some even speculate that the 53-year-old had been seeing both women at the same time. Did you have the biggest crush on Sandra Bullock when you were doing A Time to Kill? I developed a crush. <laughs> on Sandra Bullock. She's so irresistible. Yeah. I mean, when you're around yeah, her. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's, she's, she's one of a kind. The Lincoln lawyer doesn't have a long list of exes. He had never been known to rush into relationships. In fact, the actor had always been picky about who he chose to couple up with. Speaking to Howard Stern on The Howard Stern Show, McConaughey explained that he purposefully avoided romances with his co-stars. According to the actor, he tried to maintain a certain amount of professionalism in an industry where little of it exists. Maybe we had certain crushes on each other at certain times, but we always just kind of kept it professional, the Magic Mike star said. If you're really honest about how you feel in a romantic comedy, you sink the ship, man. <laughs> you sink the ship. You gotta bounce along the clouds. So what was different about Ashley Judd and Sandra Bullock? Well, for starters, Matthew McConaughey was fresh on the movie scene. Maybe he had not thought of his no co-stars rule when he was rumored to be with Judd and Bullock. Then there's a relationship he had with Penelope Cruz, so... When he spoke on his reasoning behind his rule, McConaughey mentioned that couples who go on to act together are not as sizzling as they were in their first movie. Perhaps the Serenity actor came up with this logic from his own experience, or perhaps his relationships with his co-stars never lasted because of this rule. Matthew's romance with Ashley Judd ended up going on for only a few weeks, on the other hand, he had dated Sandra for two years. Some fans think that while he was attracted to both women, the Golden Globe winner had a deeper connection with the Miss Congeniality star. McConaughey and Bullock never explicitly told the media about their relationship. Still, fans and anyone with eyes could have seen that the two actors were once smitten with each other. All right, all right, all right. It didn't take long for the press to catch wind that the two were in a relationship, but it was hard to find out exactly how serious it was. During the two years that the couple spent in love, they did their best to keep their romance out of the spotlight. They made sure not to be pictured sharing intimate moments. They even avoided questions about the relationship in interviews. The actress told People magazine in 1997 that McConaughey had become a powerful force in my life and that we have fabulous chemistry together, but insisted they were only friends. I think that's the case with any film, but this one in particular. Usually you have chemistry or some scene at the end of the day, you go, yes, I nailed it, I was amazing. After they split in 1998, the stars finally stopped hiding their love. The two never really said much about when they dated. However, they did confirm to the media that they were once together. In an interview with Cosmopolitan in 2003, the Bird Box actress was asked how she managed to stay friends with her ex-boyfriend. Her reply was that there had always been abundant respect and love between her and Matthew. It's what steers the two towards each other. It was a sweet sentiment that she shared about the relationship, but the highlight for many fans was the producer admitting to her relationship with McConaughey. The showbiz cheat sheet came up with a few theories about why the pairing didn't last. First is that dating another actor isn't easy. Having busy schedules often means two people can't spend much time together. This is all too familiar as the reason for breakups among Hollywood's biggest stars. The other theory is that the two were too close of friends. Bullock and McConaughey have always had chemistry, but they've remained best friends post-split. It's possible that their chemistry was so important to them that they wanted it to last beyond a short-lived celebrity romance. They broke up just before each of them landed major roles, and spending too much time apart while filming might have only led to a messy breakup. What could have been a love story for the ages turned out to be the most wholesome friendship. The Academy Award-winning actress told Cosmopolitan, I feel very cared for by Matthew. No matter where he is in his life or where I am in mine, he could be married. I knew we would stay close. This statement couldn't be truer. Even now in 2022, McConaughey and Bullock are still very close friends. Matthew has been married to his longtime love, Camilla Alves, for 10 years. The two share three children. Who's the bigger disciplinarian between you and Matthew? We both are. I can be a little bit more strict with being worried about things. Speaking on his relationship with the Brazilian model, the actor explained, it's gotta be the right person, but it has to be the right time. 
McConaughey was almost 40 years old when he met Alves. At this point in his life, the interstellar lead was ready to start a family. He told People TV that while he had decided it was his time to settle down, Matthew hadn't actively been searching for the love of his life. I was very happily single, and healthily single, so I wasn't looking. I was sleeping well, I was spiritually sound, I was good with hanging with me, he said. It was by chance, luck, and timing that he and Camilla met. While they've been married for 10 years, the attractive couple has been together for 16 years and counting. Maybe the timing wasn't right for McConaughey and Bullock, but they did get a lifelong friendship. Bullock is even friends with Alves. According to the Huffington Post, the two women often hang out together and take their children out on playdates. The Hollywood actress has two children, whom she adopted in 2006 and 2010. My kids are mischievous enough, they fight the perfect amount, they're like, they're the most beautiful, like, funny, inspiring little people. I just, I'm lucky. Unlike her best friend, Bullock was not very lucky in love. She told Cosmopolitan, I haven't always been easy to be in a relationship with, and I've been the problem most of the time. I'll admit that. In 2005, the Ocean's 8 star married TV personality and automotive mechanic Jesse James. They were a family for five years. Sandra ended up calling it quits after she found out her husband had repeatedly been cheating on her. After their divorce, the actress took a step back from dating and decided to focus on her family and her work. That was until 2015 when a dashing photographer who was hired to photograph her 50th birthday caught Bullock's attention. Brian Randall has been dating the star since and even co-parents her adopted children. Since 2021, the actress has taken a break from acting. She's decided to spend more time with her boyfriend and children. Bullock and Randall are very sensitive about their relationship. The photographer even had to sign an NDA that prevents him from sharing any information about Bullock and her family. Guess we're waiting a long time to know the inner workings of this relationship. Circling back to our new favorite relationship, McConaughey and Bullock can teach us the value of having friends that will support you and help you grow. It may have even been her wonderful friendship with Matthew and his wife that helped the actress overcome the challenges of her failed marriage and messy divorce. The two actors have shown up for each other at each and every turn. They've honored each other in multiple industry affairs. In 2014, McConaughey gave a speech for the Brunette Beauty's Decade of Hotness Award. Celebrating his friend at the Guy's Choice Award, the Dark Tower lead said, I've worked with you, I've tried to kiss you, successfully and unsuccessfully. I've been directed by you in a short film and also to the exit of many bars. In a Playboy interview, Matthew said he'd love to put, quote, another version of their relationship on the big screen. He described the blindside actress as not a little girl, but a woman who is so intelligent and thoughtful and charismatic she could run a country. While the sun did set on what could have been an acting power couple, it made the most beautiful sunset indeed. Matthew McConaughey and Sandra Bullock are testimony that good things can come out of a breakup. They also remind us that love is important, and not just the romantic kind. Even your buddies need love. The actors have managed to maintain a decades-long friendship based on understanding, acceptance, love, and trust.